So welcome to the AWS console home. And in this page, you can do a lot of things. So first of all, let's have a look at the top right corner of your screen. Right now, this is what's called the region selector. And right now I am in Northern Virginia, US East one. But it is advice for this course to choose a region that is geographically close to you. So because I'm in Europe, I'm actually close to Ireland, so I can choose EU West one. But if you're in other regions of the world, for example, if you're in Africa and you're close to Cape Town, then choose this. Of course, you don't have to physically be in that region to use that region, okay? You can, for example, choose whatever region makes sense for you. So choose whatever is closest and this will give you the lowest amount of latency. Next in the console, you will see a list of recently visited services and it should be empty for you and I just tried that one. So it's showing one right here for me. On the bottom, you get some information about AWS. You get the health issues if need be and cost and usage info for your account as well as tutorials to build a solution and so on. So this web page is actually changing a lot over time and has changed a lot for the past two years. And so it may not look exactly the same as you. And in case it looks very, very, very different, I will re-record this lecture. Okay, so once we have this, we need to look at services of AWS. And for this, two options. The first one is to go on the top left, click on services, and you can either look at services by alphabetical order, as you can see, there are a lot of services on AWS or by category. For example, for compute, you would have all these services and so on. But don't worry, over time, we will learn these services and we don't have to navigate through that page. Another thing I really like is the search bar. So you can actually type a service, for example, root 53, and then it gives you search results. So it gives you four services that match this query. OK, and then within these services, we can also have a look at features and 13 features match them. So we can directly jump into the domain names of the root 53 service. And that's a good thing. We can also look at blogs, knowledge articles, documentations, and so on. So this is quite cool. Let's go into root 53 now to have a look at this console. So this one is very special because on the top right hand side, it says global. That means that this console does not require a region selection. And that is more the exception than the rule. But some services in AWS are what's called global services. And no matter where you are, you're going to get the same view. But if you switch services and you go, for example, to the EC2 service, this time on the top right hand side, as you can see, it says Ireland because it shows the Ireland region. And so based if I run this console in Ireland or say in another region, for example, in Canada, well, my view is going to be different in terms of the resources that I will see. So that's why it's important for you to remain within the same region for the entire duration of this tutorial and this course. The other thing you can look at is called the AWS Global Infrastructure that you can find on Google. And this gives you a lot of information around your services. And one thing that is very important to look at is the AWS Regional Services. And it gives you the services list by region. And so this is the table. And so for example, if in the course, I talk about a service and do a hands-on, but it doesn't seem to be in your region, you can check here and find the availability of services. So for example, we can check a look, have a look for Cape Town and see the services that are available in this region. And if you don't see a service, maybe you need to switch a region in, of course, the console to have access to it because not all the services from AWS are in every region. So that's it for this lecture. I hope you liked it. And I will see you in the next lecture.